Hi, I'm John. And I'm Willie. And uh, we live in Seattle where we grow a lot of our own food. Yeah, we have kind of a little urban homestead in our backyard. We've got a vegetable garden and we raise chickens and honeybees. And today we're going to be talking about growing summer squash. So today we're going to demonstrate how to grill zucchini because you know, a lot of times it's pan fried, but I think grilling it adds a nice smoky flavor. And uh, the recipe kind of has a little bit of a Greek theme because we put feta cheese and mint over the top. And it's a great uh, side dish all on its own, but it can also be part of a bigger sort of platter. So we're going to have the zucchini with the feta and mint, some pita, some hummus, and also some olives. So I'm going to head out to the garden and demonstrate how to hand pollinate the squash and also harvest. If you want to get the grill going, that's cool. Definitely. Okay. Let's go. All right. Zucchini is a warm season crop. That means it uh, likes really warm days and evenings. And I have a zucchini here. It's an eight ball zucchini and it has little round zucchinis, eight balls, the variety. So one thing that happens with zucchini is that they have male flowers and female flowers. And the way you can tell the difference is that male flowers um, have a stigma, which is this cone shaped um, uh, plant part in the middle that's covered with pollen and a straight stem behind. And female flowers have a little baby zucchini or squash behind them. And so in order for the squash to grow, you have to transfer pollen from the male flower to the stigma, which is that plant part in the center of the female flower. So usually bees do that, but if a bee doesn't pollinate your squash, what happens is you get something that looks like this. It was a squash that looked like it was growing fine and then it just shriveled and fell off the plant. And that's just a lack of pollination. So the best way to avoid that is if you hand pollinate your plants. So what you do to hand pollinate is you pick off um, a male flower, peel back the petals, and then you take the female flower and you open it up so that you expose the stigma. And then you get in there and you just rub some pollen on the female flower stigma. And you can use one male flower for every three female flowers. The key to make sure that you don't have more zucchini than you can eat is to harvest them when they're really small. You can harvest zucchini two ways. With this zucchini here, it's kind of hard to get in there with my knife um, and cut it off. So what I'm gonna do is just grasp it firmly and then uh, twist it clockwise. And that'll disengage it from the plant. You can also get in with a knife and saw it off like that and make a nice clean cut. And once you get your plants harvested, you can go ahead and take off the squash blossom. All right, so I've harvested a couple zucchini and I have some inside that I harvested earlier this week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the kitchen and, and get them ready to grill. So I'm slicing the zucchini into about three quarter inch to one inch slices. And as you can see, the zucchini it's just barely started to form seeds. If you cut into a zucchini and you see big full on seeds, you probably wanna set that aside and use it for zucchini bread or something. For the marinade, just wanna put the three teaspoons of white wine vinegar, the garlic clove that's been pressed, the zest of the lemon, a nice big pinch of salt or two, and some freshly ground pepper into a bowl and whisk all that together till, it start, till the salt starts to dissolve and then slowly pour in the oil and just give it a good whisk and pour it over the zucchini. Spread it around, flip the zucchini slices over so that they're coated in the marinade. And then we're just gonna cover this up with plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge and let it marinate for at least four hours. You can let it marinate overnight. And you just wanna occasionally pop into the fridge and flip everything over. Okay, pretty easy. Oh my gosh, it's nice out here. It's way nice, right? Ooh, these look good. It's so cloudy this morning. Does this feel the right more, to you? The better. Because you said it needed to be kind of like. Medium hot. Yeah, you should just be able to put your hand, yeah, for like five seconds before it gets too hot. All right. I think or if this was a gas grill, like medium. So last time we did this, we did it at about 350 degrees. And it took what? Maybe eight minutes? 
yeah, just, you know, it's like, you know, four minutes on the first side, a couple of minutes on the next side. You don't want them to get too smushy. So once you've got them on the grill to let them cook a little bit better and faster, I recommend putting the lid back on. So I'm going to do that and then kick back, relax and have a homebrew. So this is uh, checking in on the zucchini and I'm flipping them over. I'm looking for this faint level of grill mark, just like in this one here. And I might want to move them around a little bit as the middle of my grill cooks a lot hotter than the sides. So you want to make sure that you're getting a nice even grill. So I really like this one. It's got the grill marks on both sides. Hey Will, I think they're ready. Okay. Ooh, looking good, not too mushy. Oh, this is a beautiful platter. Thank you. So I'm just going to put some feta cheese over the top of the zucchini here. And then also just a little bit of fresh mint from the garden. So I put some olives with roasted tomatoes that I had in the fridge along with some hummus. It's kind of nice to have the spread and then um, you know a few other little toppings to put on kind of make your own little mini sandwiches. That and the mint gives a nice savory sweet. It's truly delicious. I think you've outdone yourself. <laughs> well, I really like how it comes out when we grill it like that. Yeah, I think it's a great dish to bring to a potluck because you can make it in advance, marinate the zucchini overnight, bring it to the barbecue, throw it on the grill, and you've got a great vegetarian dish um, in 10 minutes. So. Yeah, everyone's going to appreciate it. It's a little bit different than you know your traditional burgers or hot dogs. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Grow, Cook, Eat. We're going to be here all summer um, harvesting food from our garden and making great, simple recipes in the kitchen. So I hope you'll join us again. And we want to hear your comments, so if you have any recommendations or changes to our recipes, by all means, share them.